Hey guys, today we're going to work on polar coordinates, and uh, these are coordinates that are very helpful in certain situations, so let's go ahead and get started. They use trig, um, so hopefully you already know that. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up here on the top right, that's a normal cart uh, uh, coordinate system. We call that Cartesian coordinates, and so the number is 3, 2. That means the 3 means how far right you go, and the 2 means how far up you go, so that red dot there is where 3, 2 shows up. Um, and, uh, yeah, we call that Cartesian coordinates. That's the coordinate system you guys are used to. But this big map, uh, this kind of circular graph here, is a different kind of coordinate system. So we kind of ask the question, what if instead of going right and going up, instead the numbers mean which direction you're pointing and how far out you go? So uh, let's, uh, let's look at that. R comma theta is what the two numbers are, theta being the angle you turn and R being how far out you go. Um, so let's pretend for a second that you're this blue dot right here in the middle, okay? You're standing on 0, 0, 0, 0 in terms of Cartesian coordinates, so you're standing right there in the middle. And let's say I give you an angle to face. Let's do this first one, okay? So the angle is 135 degrees. What you're going to do is you're going to be standing right there in that dot, and you're looking out at 135 degrees, exactly where that green arrow is pointing. And if you're looking out that way, and I say, hey, walk out two steps, okay, um, along that green line right there, then that'd be one, two steps right there, and you'd end up right there where that purple dot is, okay? So the point two comma 135 degrees is the way you would represent that purple dot, all right? And that's just polar coordinates. Notice we're not moving left, right, up, and down. It's just which direction you're pointing and how far out you're walking. Um, the numbers can be funny, so let's look at the next one. Um, Let's say I've got negative uh, 3 comma 3 pi over 2. Well, 3 pi over 2 is the angle, since we write that second. So you want to turn around and face 270 degrees. See down there, I labeled it 3 pi over 2. And uh, since you're facing that way, we want to walk negative 3. Well, that's like three steps backwards. So negative 3 doesn't mean down. Negative means the opposite direction. In this case, you're actually facing down. So you're going to walk backwards. You're going to walk up where that purple dot is. See the red lines represent walking backwards. And so uh, each step is a concentric circle, and another circle on that graph. And you end up negative 3 comma 3 pi over 2 represents that per the next purple dot right there. Go ahead and try this last one on your own. Try to plot it and you can share with your classmates when you get there um, what, uh, what you believe it is. Be careful. Remember negative angles mean rotate clockwise. Alright, so Let's find these points. Uh, your paper was probably in black and white, so that's why I said the red is the top right one. Okay, this uh, I'm going to marking zero zero. That uh, uh, is right there in the center zero, and I'm going to mark each line. So that first one is a radius of one, second one is two, and three, four, five, and usually these will be labeled. Okay, <clears throat> go all the way out to six. That red dot is on the sixth circle, so we know that the R has to be six. Okay, R can also stand for radius, um, but yeah, that's how far out you're walking. The direct question is, all right, which way are you facing when you're going out that far? Well, you're facing 60 degrees. So the point 6 comma 60 degrees is that point up there in the top right, and uh, that's how we find it, okay? Um, it's also pi over 3, so you could also write it as 6 comma pi over 3, all right? I want you to find the next two. The green is the one on the left, and the purple is the one on the bottom. I want you to try to find those. And when you get to class, remember that there is actually more than one right answer. Um, actually, there are more answers than what I put down. There's tons and tons of correct answers, but they're also wrong answers. So be careful with that. All right. So if I give you something in, uh, they call it rectangle or Cartesian coordinates, like the 3, 2 I mentioned earlier, and I want you to change it into a polar coordinates, or vice versa, you have two options. You can either memorize formulas or draw triangles, and I think you know my preference is to draw stuff rather than having to memorize more stuff. So, I'm going to show you how to draw triangles, and then I'll give you the formulas at the end, okay? Um, uh, let's say our point is 2, 3 pi over 2. That's right there. You see that point? I'm going to draw the Cartesian coordinates on top of it. So we have our x and our y, and if the uh, point ends up on the axis, like this purple one does right here, then it's actually very simple to just look at it and tell how far left and right you go, which is zero in this case, and how far up and down you go, which is 
negative 2, because we went down 2. And so we don't even have to draw triangles, we just write down, oh, it's 0, negative 2. It's right on the axis, okay? Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, let's, uh, let's draw this next point, so pi over 3 and negative 8 is the direction we're going, so we're facing pi over 3, or 60 degrees, and we're going to walk out negative 8, so let me mark those, all the way to that point right there. So that red point, the bottom left, is negative 8, comma, pi over 3. Now, I want to write down what is this in Cartesian coordinates. If I wanted to get to the same point, how far left would I walk and how far down would I walk? To do that, I'm going to draw a triangle, and I'm going to redraw the triangle out here just so I can label it and not make it too messy. So we know we walked out 8, that's the hypotenuse, and we know that that is 30 degrees. Now, I figured that out because I... I uh, just subtracted and, and found what this angle was and subtracted that. So um, you can look at it and figure out it's 30 degrees. It helps to have a, uh, a polar coordinate grid there. But um, yeah, if you need help with that, you can talk with your classmates when we get to school. And I'm going to label X and Y. X being left and right, how far left did we walk, and Y being up and down. So we just have to use trig now. You guys already know that uh, Sokotoa, so sine of 30 is x over 8. If we multiply both sides by 8, you get x equals 8 sine of 30. And y equals 8 cosine of 30. You are, since you already know how to do that, I'm not going to take time to, to show you how to do that, but you type that in the calculator, you get x equals 4, and y equals 6.93, okay? It looked like I was going to mark it right here at uh, 7, but it was uh, just a little bit shy of that, so at least my approximation is pretty close, and that's, that's wonderful. So um, the exact values uh, we don't have, but we'll, since we rounded it. However, uh, these are lengths, right? This is going down and left, okay? The x going left and y going down. So even, those are even though those are lengths, the actual point would be negative, right? Where we have negative 4 for the x, because we went left, and negative 6.93 because we went down. So it's always, you need to be careful about are you going left or right? Left is negative, and are you going down or up? Where down is negative, okay? Um, so that's, uh, that's the point. These two points are exactly equal. And uh, yeah, that's how you convert from polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. Let's try out uh, Cartesian to polar. So I'm going to first draw what, uh, where this looks like it should go. This is the Pull, uh, Cartesian coordinate. Negative 1 means go left 1, and root 3 means go up the square root of 3. That's, uh, that's between 1 and 2, I know that, so uh, I'll mark it right there. Probably a little closer to, to 2, but that's alright. Um, and uh, so that's the point right there. Here's the triangle, let me blow it up a little bit. So left to negative 1, and up root 3, the triangle looks like that. Now, what do I need to find to find polar coordinates? I need to find this angle right there, I actually need to find the outside angle, but if I find the inside angle, I can just subtract it from 180. And then I also need to find the hypotenuse. Let's first find that angle. So we know that tangent, TOA, is opposite over adjacent. So I'm going to tangent of theta equals root 3 over 2, or, or root 3 over 1, and good thing we know inverse tangent solves for theta. So we have root 3 over 1, and that is approximately 40.9 degrees. Now the other angle here, is 180 minus that, so I get 139.1 degrees is our angle in polar coordinates. The next thing we need to find is that R there, the blue R I marked. That radius says how far out to walk once you turn the right way. So uh, to do that, I'm just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Once you solve for that, it's actually, I have the numbers set up to be very easy to do without a calculator. You get that R, e R squared equals 4, so R must equal 2 because it's a length. Um, so the final point is 2, is the distance, comma, 139.1 degrees. All right. Uh, go ahead and uh, try that other one. Oh, the other thing to note is there are several correct answers for this. Okay. So um, just because you didn't get exactly what I got, you, there, you still could get it right, which makes grading kind of tricky. Um, but uh, yeah, try this next one on your own and compare it to your classmates when you get here. All right. Last thing, let me show you these formulas that you could memorize, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, we did use the Pythagorean theorem, so you could have x squared plus y squared equals r squared. You notice I drew my triangle over here on the right. That's what I'm using as a reference. So if you ha know x and y, you know the Cartesian coordinates, and you're trying to find r, you just uh, have r squared right there, okay? Um, you also can use tangent. Remember, toa is opposite over adjacent, so tangent of theta equals y over x. 
If you have x and y again, you can find out theta from that formula. Um, the, uh, the other two equations that we used are cosine, I just multiplied both sides by r, and sine, again, I multiplied both sides by r. So you get x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. These would be in case you know polar coordinates, but don't know the Cartesian coordinates, you can find either x or y out from that equation, okay? Um, again, I wouldn't recommend it um, because you already know those equations and how they work, so if you just draw a triangle, you will be just fine finding out all this stuff. If you, yeah. Uh, hope you learned something today, and thanks for watching, guys.